At first, this may strike some as confrontational, but I and many other doctors can attest that if you are kind but firm, this is a very effective way to gain patient compliance back. Welcome to AMC. I'm Dr. Melissa LeCary. Today we're gonna to cover the yes and no principle. Let's get started. The beautiful thing about what we do as chiropractors is that we get to change lives. To accomplish that, clarity and understanding between doctor and patient is necessary straight from the beginning. So that means striving for excellence in our beginning procedures is very important. As long as the patient behavior indicates commitment and that we're on the path moving toward the same goal, we are set for success. But what if the patient behavior changes? If they aren't doing their prescribed home routine, they miss appointments, I'm not talking about extenuating circumstances or a shift in care due to some type of emergency. I'm talking about the patient who has lapsed because of their judgment, because they forgot how bad they were in the beginning, what kind of future they were heading toward before chiropractic intervened. This is where we can use the yes, no principle. What you do is ask a question that requires a yes or no answer only and then repeat the question if the response is anything other than yes or no. What this does is help the patient realize that they are kidding themselves with excuses that only seem valid in their own head. I don't have time, I'm not in pain anymore, you haven't helped with XYZ symptom. At first, this may strike some as confrontational, but I and many other doctors can attest that if you're kind but firm, this is a very effective way to gain patient compliance back. So here's an example. The patient states that they had migraines, but now it's low back pain. So what do we do? Doc, I'm not sure this is working. My low back still hurts. Hmm. The original complaint you came in with was migraines, wasn't it? But my back hurts now. Have we successfully helped your migraines? Yes. Then the intelligent thing to do, Miss Smith, would be to get pictures of your low back to see what's causing your low back pain. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, that makes sense. Well then, let's get you adjusted, make sure those migraines stay gone, keep your neck from deteriorating, and then once we're done here, we'll go up front, we'll talk to Jessica, and see when we can get you in to get those low back films done that you need. Does that sound fair? Yes, doctor. Now what occurs if we don't handle this situation properly? We tend to waver on our decisions, what to do, so we're wasting time. We can get easily defensive about our skills, so we're coming across as either inept or obtuse, insensitive and ignorant all at once. We essentially put the doctor-patient relationship that we've worked so hard to build, we put that and our reputation all at risk. Practicing and having the yes, no principle at the ready will ensure that we can handle brewing compliance issues with confidence and with ease. That way you keep patients on track toward the best results and you get to maintain efficiency in your office, authority and positive enthusiastic attitudes. Thank you for joining us today. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified whenever we post new content. Check the description for more ways to get our content. If you'd like more information about AMC and how it might help your practice, reach out to us at amcfamily.com.